bad guys. Issue three. By going to IDW Publishing. Nice little disguise thing. That was nice. I like that. Oh, what a twist! It's actually bad guys. But you know, you can get away with that on April Fool's Day. Just about every other day, it's like, but why though? We're not gonna fall for it. Secondary voice print required. Voice print. A beacon in a sea of ignorance. Welcome, Doctor Starline. Of course, Design. that would be his passcode. Replay last development journal. Progress log update. Things are moving along swimming. Of course, he has a diary. Why wouldn't he? Previously in Bad Guys. It's also enabled me to fabricate my newest creation, the Tricore. This brilliant bubble will allow me to hold my own against Sonic Tails or Knuckles, should the needs arise. And At once Apple, or it's individually? Because there's a big difference the in that. Can be used in rapid succession, hundreds of times. What? Phase two of the plan happens tomorrow. We'll be invading an egg It's an incredibly powerful there, device, then. Dr. Eggman's databases and change all security to obey me. Once the base is safely lost to the doctor and under my control, I can finally move on to my true goal. Assuming all goes as you plan. Shift. Zavok, for all his faults, said some things that stuck with me. But he will not. None of the runes will. Once the new headquarters are secured, my new robot forces will eliminate them all. Of course, they take the advice from other people. I feel a tad wasteful, but the alternative is too risky. They are far too dangerous to let run free. Indeed. Oh crap. You move surprisingly quietly for a big guy. When I want to. You're quite ah. happy yourself, mimic. Nice. Double out, turn man. there. I don't want to wake the real deal. I never trusted him, but I try not to make a move without good intel. I suspect you. They're not idiots. It makes a nice twist on the oh, usual cliches of this stuff. Lies for myself. In the previous I issue, to find out if the devices he promised were booby trapped. Checking. Ah, so that's what he was doing. No, they're legit. Really, he's as short-sighted as Eggman. It says here it's to make just sure mimic figure no out what the passcode would be just he because wants us to be at our best until he <laughs> the doctor is that us. full of himself. Joke's on you, Doc. You're the one that isn't waking up tomorrow. Wait, no, we can't kill him. This is a kid's I'll comic book. Now. I'm not waiting for him to pull the trigger. I'm ending this tonight. We still <laughs> Imagine there was just a death straight up murder in this. He feels he's gotten all he He's wants. so out of place. Tomorrow he will open the way to what we want. Then I will reward your patience by letting you finish him. Fine. But if it looks like he's moving up his timetable, I'm not waiting any longer. Fair enough. Now get some rest. It all ends in the morning. Mm. No, like how no, Starling no, gets himself right, five stars. Mimic. What about gimmick? So uh, cool maybe? Himself. Let's try it out. Okay. <clears throat> you better not whine. You better not grumble. It's about to get tough. We've got a new gimmick. Get ready for havoc. It's Starline, Tumble, Rough, Mimic, and Zavik. <sighs> I like to make the eyebrow move. Y'all are a bunch of ingrates. That was inspired. It wasn't the worst thing I've ever heard. Growing kinship. Congratulations are in order, Doctor. We still have a long way to go to victory. But don't you think you're being premature? You brought us all together. Your plan is unfolding perfectly. Eggman certainly wouldn't have been able to orchestrate such an operation. I am glad to command you, my faithful servant. Yeah, he's buttering oh, him up. High praise indeed. Thank you, Master. He's fully fallen for my ruse. Good. It will make ambushing him easier. More proof that doctors aren't automatically geniuses. They aren't dumb. But they aren't geniuses. As promised, your personalized core gear. Oh, I was expecting something more. Hey, like. Of course you were. Pride all the same. Next time, I'll upgrade it into a tail for you. I mean, there is a next time. Oh wait, there isn't. Seriously, to your actions, act as you normally would, and the power core energy will be distributed instantly. 
Indulge in your power fantasies, gentlemen. You can achieve anything today. Hey, how come you ain't got one? I have no skills to enhance. It would just be a waste of resources. <laughs> <laughs> your words, not mine. They would buy that. First things first. Mimic. We take down the guard towers. <laughs> Does this mean Gim Mimic can fly now? Damn! I don't think Zevik needed the power up though. Yep, he can fly now. Well, I guess if any of the group were going to fly, aside from the docks, or Mimic would make the most sense. Is this how Sonic lives? No wonder he's so cocky. I mean, if I could run like that, I'd be pretty cocky too. Here's a question for the comments. You have three power choices between power, speed, and flight. Which one do you want? You can't pick all three. That's not fair. This is it. Mere steps from total victory. Ah, come on. I ain't smashed anything yet. Then the interior guard is all yours. Uh, just don't break anything, please. I wonder if the speed gear gave him a homing attack. Eh, close enough. Ooh, that was a good transition. You didn't want to control that one? Not nearly as satisfying as obliterating it. True! You're alright, Z. Sometimes it's more fun to punch something. Here, the central computer. You know the login? No. But I've developed a command algorithm to bypass the security. Just had that. One, 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 one. No, I've been developing this for another project. Mm -hmm. It's not important right now. Well, work fast. After our raid, I'm sure Eggman's on high alert. Most likely. I was alerted the moment you and Savak took out the guard post. Nanny! What? <laughs> Calm yourself. We control his information feed now, remember? I'm telling him it's Sonic and giving the coordinates for a completely different facility. And totally not double stabbing you in the back. <laughs> Somebody is about to learn a lesson in humility because they're going to suffer a humiliating defeat. Scramble the aerial forces. We're going to rain punishment on whoever is causing a ruckus. Hold on, boss. We just got an update. I have the coordinates. I think this Other is the new Eggman voice actor. As Could be wrong. Like I was trying to just bomb it. The end. The Eggnet Hub. Intel now says Sonic is ransacking a depot 20 miles to the north. <clears throat> Give me that. Something's not right here. That's too much of a mistake to be a simple glitch. Perhaps Tails sent a dummy transmission and our network corrected the mistake? Or the other way around, and he's trying to throw me off the trail. No matter. I'll check out both, rain fire, and sift through the ashes later. How do you check out both? Oh, a boss, of course. The Egg Hawk. Good to see that thing again from Heroes. He built another one. And the defenses. Suddenly overcome with a desire to protect us. Time to pay the piper, Doc. All in good time. I need to do one thing first. I like the transition. Egg Base Sigma. I'm done being polite. Is it what? Sir? Well, a little help. Whoa. What? I thought we were working together. We were. The doctor was using us. Mimic found evidence that this was all a ploy so he could hijack a new base for himself. Once secured, he was going to destroy us all. I knew we couldn't trust you. Yeah. It's like we're all villains or something. Going yeah, sure you were. Mm -hmm. Keep telling yourself that. Give me an excuse. You need me to delete you from the database. Then do it. It will be easier with some room to breathe. You manage. Thank you. Sign command <laughs> all the badniks in range of this hub to me. This will be the first But you can do it yourself! Of off more of his territory for myself. Fine, fine, they're yours. You now have a whole army to fight Eggman with. I need to equip my tricor and... You're a free man, Mimic. At the last. And you just conquered a chunk of the Eggman Empire in five minutes. Indeed. You have the core gears and a surplus of cores back at the lab. I guess so. We can do a lot of damage with those. 
which means you have lived your usefulness. <laughs> oh, great. Now the doctor's on the back end. This did not go as planned at all. Contributor routine. <clears throat> well, I know Starline be like, this was not in the plan at all. Oh no, I did not plan that they'd have a brain. That was at the bottom of my plans. Exit stage left. Okay. Wait, this is the POV of, from um, Starline's point Next of view because you can see the knife the I assume. Dr. Starline. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a nice, nice change up from power grab because I think they've used that one twice, but it might be wrong and they're just very similar. <clears throat> Unfortunately, uh, Dr. Starline thought he was so up and genius that the kid has the very terrible problem of underestimating his opponents constantly. I swear this guy thinks he's the only smart person in the world. When that's not true, it's been proven wrong time and time again. I'd say you got one up by Metal Sonic, who's an actual robot that just takes orders. I know we all have those faults that we fall prey to time and time again, but do you think the doctor would be one to be like, well, I've uh, really been making some mistakes, clearly I should do something about this. Like, underestimating rough and tumble. Okay, fine, like, you can do that. I, I think we all would if they, if they were in real life, you know? But Zavok? Mimic? Especially Zawa, considering he was already leader of a group, so you just thought you could pull a fast one over him. He's not just a brute. He is a brute, but he's not just a brute. You're an idiot. It was a nice twist to them all betray the Doctor and send the Doctor betray all of them, because you've seen it on like one side does all, to all before, but the, the team betrays the leader, that one's lesser done. Especially for a villain side story. You if anything, I thought it was going to be more of a suicide spot. We hate each other, but we love each other sort of thing. Thank God that isn't the case. Oh, this is a miniseries, so we'd have less time to do that. Eh. Eh. It was kind of cool how they double cross. And there was a lot of extra effects in this one. They're, they're really up in their budget over there at Adrenaline Dubs. They really... <laughs> I'm glad I'm stuck with those guys. Those, they're really putting them into good work. Yeah. Oh, Starline, now it's these just negatives of how do I get myself out of this one? Probably should not have unequipped the Tricor. Although I know why he did it, because he's trying to play it up and all that jazz, but you're in a really sick situation now, you better pull a fast one while you still can. Ugh. No. Oh. I guess the true moral of the story is never trust a villain. You should go without saying, I know villains have their redemption arcs, that's all well and good. Don't trust a group of them. It, just don't. Ugh. Alright, well. Let's see how Starline gets himself out of this mess, if he can. Of course. We'll find out next time. Later.